Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to click that like button, click that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. It's a cold world, but love still exists. Even if you have to look within yourself to find it. It's a cold world. We live in a world that tells you you're not good enough, you're not strong enough, you're not pretty enough, you don't look good enough, you don't have what it takes, you don't have the skills. That's what the world will tell you. But you have to live within your own world. You have to create a world within yourself. And that's where self-love exists. When you look within yourself, what you say about yourself and how you feel about yourself has to be different and not be a vibrational match for what the world says. Because the world will tell you all types of different things about you. It'll have you feeling you're not good enough when, you, when you're truly great. It'll have you not feeling that you don't have what it takes when you're better than most of the people that are out there trying just like you. You'll have skills and the world will tell you that you don't. That's why it's not important. That's why it's important to not listen to the world. You cannot pay attention to the world mind. You have to listen to your own mind when it comes to the inner world that you're creating for yourself because that will be your peace. In the midst of chaos, you can still find peace. We live in a chaotic world. We live in a world where there are things happening simultaneously out of our control. But what we can control is how we feel about ourselves, how we look at ourselves, and the life we choose to live. And that's a very powerful thing. So no matter what's happening in the world, we can still prosper. No matter what's happening in the world, we can still love ourselves. No matter what's happening in the world, we can still be great. We can still feel good about ourselves and we can still find strength. You just have to look within to find it. There are going to be a lot of people. There are going to be a lot of things. There are going to be a lot of challenges that just let you know that you may not have what it takes. They'll try to convince you that you don't. Whether it's a person, they see you trying, they see you striving, they see you doing your best, but they want to try to get in your head. They see that you have potential. They see you planting seeds of potential, but they don't want to see them grow. They want to cut them off at the root. And they want to try to make you feel like you're less than. They want to try to make you feel not good about yourself and that you don't have the ability. But I'm here to tell you today that you have more than enough. You are more than enough. You are greatness in the flesh. If no one told you that and if you haven't been thinking about that of yourself lately, you need to start now. You're greater than they told you you were. You're better than they told you you were. Even when it comes down to your flaws and all. Even when it comes down to your failures. Even when it comes down to the things that you tried and did not succeed at. You're still good enough. And you still have the ability to keep moving forward. What separates you from the rest is that you try. A lot of them have given up. A lot of them have thrown in a towel. A lot of them have said, you know what? I'm done. I'm just going to stop right here. And this is it. I'm not going anywhere further. I'm not doing anything more. I'm satisfied and I'm content right here where I'm at. I'm just going to let the clock tick. And then when it stops ticking, I'm out of here. You didn't choose that for yourself. 
You choose to take every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month of every year to do something with yourself. So that way you could do something with your life. It may not have happened as fast as everybody else wanted to see it happen. But that's none of their business. You still have to feel good about yourself because the world will try to fool you into thinking that you're not enough, that you're not doing enough, that you can't have what it is that you're going after. It'll have you thinking that your flaws are more important for you to focus on than the good things about you. And that's just not true. You have a lot of good things that you can focus on. And that's where gratitude comes into play. You have to be grateful for where you're at and what you have. And you can't be distracted by others and what they have and what they possess. You can't think that other people are better than you. You have to look in the mirror and realize that there's no one better than you. You are the greatest. You are the best. You have to see that about yourself and you have to feel that way about yourself. And you can't let anyone or anything tell you otherwise. You have to love yourself greater than anybody else can because there are people that are trying to tear you down and there are people trying to make you hate yourself. There are people trying to stop you from what you came here to do and who you came here to be. And you just can't let that take place. You don't have the time. All you have is the time to do what you need to do, not to worry about who thinks that of you. Who thinks you're not good enough? Who thinks you don't have what it takes? Who thinks that you're going to fail? You you don't have time to be worried about that. The only thing you have time to focus on is what are you good at? What are your strengths? What What do you need to improve? What can you make better? And how much time do you need to allot to those things? You have the creative skills that people could only dream of. That's why people have tried to make you think that you couldn't make it. They saw what you were able to do, and they saw that you were able to do a lot, even with a little bit. So they had to try to stop you in your tracks because it's a cold world. But you have to believe in yourself and you have to look within yourself to find that power for you to keep going. You have a lot of strength inside you. You have a lot of willpower inside you. All you need to do is use it. And you can access it whenever you want. They don't understand you and they don't have to. They'll never understand you because you have a burning fire inside that tells you to go, go out, be something, do something, have something. You're great. You you don't let anything stop you and you don't let anything get in your way. When they try to get in your way, you go around them. You don't let them stop you. And if you have to, you'll even go through them. And they know that. You have enough love for yourself and then some. You have enough love in yourself for somebody else to have some too, for somebody else to borrow some. That's why they want your energy like that, because they sense how powerful you are. The power of self-love is very strong. There are a lot of people out here not feeling good about themselves, thinking that they're not beautiful, thinking that they're not handsome, thinking that they're not good enough thinking that they don't have what it takes, there's something wrong with them. And if you think anything like that, you need to change that because you don't want to be in the same category as the other people that aren't trying. Those are thoughts in in the mind of a person that gave up. Those are thoughts in the mind of a person that gives up. Those are thoughts in the mind of a person that doesn't even try because they let those things stop them. They choose to let those mental blocks get in the way. You chose to break those mental blocks down. You picked out your pick. You picked out your axe and you started to hack away and chip away at everything that's in the way. Because you just, you you, you recognize just how powerful that you are. You recognize just how much strength you have. You have so much strength and so much power and so much ability. They had to try to talk you out of it. They had to try to talk you out of your greatness. They had to try to make you doubt your greatness. They had to try to make you not believe in your greatness. 
how great you are, how strong you are, how powerful you are. How do you think you're able to keep going when everything is against the wall, when everything, when it all falls down? How do you think you're able to get back up? You access the God in you. You don't just let it just sit there on the shelf collecting dust. You access the God in you and you use it to its fullest potential because you know that you have the ability ability to become whatever it is you want. You know you could become as great as you want. You looked within yourself. You didn't look outside of yourself. You didn't try to find it in a new pair of shoes. You didn't try to find it in a new shirt. You didn't try to find it in a pair of shades. You didn't try to find it in a brand new Escalade. You chose to find it within yourself. You enjoy things like anybody else. You like nice things. You enjoy using money. But the thing is, you know that it's something within you and you know that it's not something that's on you. Clothes don't make you. The materials don't make you. The money doesn't even make you. It amplifies who you are as a person. You enjoy it. You appreciate it and you recognize it for what it is, but you don't let it make you or break you. Not that, not physical money anyway. The type of money that you're focused on is is a a type of energy that you possess, your joy, your happiness, your gladness, your, your lust for life. You wake up every day knowing that you have another shot at life to become what you want to be. You don't let days pass you by. You don't let any day pass by without you working on something, creating something, working towards what you want to be. And that's self-love because you love yourself enough to do things when you don't even feel like doing it. You love yourself enough to keep pushing forward because you owe it to yourself and you know that you are able to create the life that you want. You know that you can create your own reality. You love yourself enough to not have to put yourself through the things that other people put themselves through who give up. That's a mental torment right there. You want to talk about mental anguish, knowing that you could have been something and and you gave up and having to watch everybody else around you go be great when you know you have the same thing within you and you have to try to push it down and suppress it and act like it's not there. That is a pain that is undescribable. You can't describe that pain. Giving up and knowing that you could have became something and you just threw in the towel. You just quit. You just stopped. That is true failure. The failure that you experience is for someone who tries. You try. They put you down because you try. They laugh at you because you try. And you still haven't given up. They have to point out what you did wrong here, what you did wrong there, how you messed up here, how you made this mistake, what was wrong with that all because they see how great you are, but they want to play with you instead of going out and being great themselves. They have to try to make you think about all the negative things that are wrong with you so you won't focus on all the good things, all the great things, all the magnificent things, all the amazing things about you. And you know they're there and they do as well. And the fact that you're becoming aware of them, the things that they saw the whole entire time, it's, it's, it's putting, it's putting a, a whooping on some folks. It's, it's, it's giving them a heavy burden to deal with because they have, to, they have to live knowing that you finally found out. They have to wake up every single day and realize that, yo, he found out. She found out. She finally figured it out. He finally figured it out. Because it's a cold world. Nobody will help you when you need it. Nobody will tell you how great you are. Nobody will reach down and give you a helping hand, a lending hand when you truly need it. There will be some, but not many. You have to be grateful for what you have and you have to be grateful for what you can do. And you can't let a minute, you can't let a moment pass you by without you not becoming your greatest version because you owe it to yourself. Nobody's going to be there forever to help you. Nobody's going to be there forever to to be there for you. Sooner or later, you have to be there for yourself. Sooner or later, you're going to have to do something yourself. 
You may not always have that job. You may not always have friends. You may not always have family. You may not always have a boyfriend, girlfriend. Sooner or later, you're going to have to be by yourself. You're going to have to know what it feels like to be alone. And that's when that self-love is going to kick in and be there for you. Because when nobody is there for you and all you have is God, you still have to be there for yourself. And you're going to have to look within yourself and you're going to have to see what's there. You're going to have to see what you're made of. And those tough times that you're going through, if you don't give up, they're going to turn you into a tough-minded person. Because tough times don't last. Tough people do. That's what Les Brown said. And I'm, yo, I'm believing it. I'm trusting in that. So look within yourself and see what you can find. You got to dig deep to find the diamonds, the gold, the jewels, the rubies, all the precious gems, all the precious stones. And it's the same thing with you. You have to dig deep within yourself to find all the precious things within you. When you're going through the worst times you could possibly imagine. When you're going through times that would break most people. When you're going through things that would shake most people, that would hurt most people, that would make most people stop, give up, and quit. And you still chose, you still chose to keep going. You still choose to keep going. You have something within you that not a lot of people discover within themselves. And it's going to put fear in some people. It's going to make some people talk about you. It's going to make some people look at you different. But it is what it is. It comes with the territory because it's a cold world. But love still exists, even if you have to find it within yourself. When no one cares about you, when no one is there for you, when people turn their back on you, when people leave you out to hang you out to dry and leave you for dead. When people see you and act like they don't even know what's going on, but they're talking about it behind your back and nobody's reaching out to help. Because, oh, he's all right. You got to have love for yourself. When people want to be fake, when people don't want to be real, no matter how hurt you are, you're still going to have to heal. And you're going to have to keep going. That's all you can do during those times is keep going. You can't complain. You can't cry. You can't give up. You might do those things, but you'll have to realize sooner or later, they're not going to get you where you want to be. Nobody's going to want to hear it. Nobody's going to want to be around you while you're doing it. Nobody's going to care about it. People are not going to care about what you're going through like you think. The only person that's really, truly going to care is you and God, and that's it. There are tough times, but tough times make tough people. And as a result of all the things that you're going through, you're going to come out pressurized. You're going to come out harder. You're going to come out tougher, stronger, better. Just like Kanye West's song. People will just listen to those types of songs and take it for face, uh, for face value. But when you really understand the true meaning, when you really see those things with inside yourself, you look at that person who created that and you're like, they realize it. They understand. They know what time it is. And you should know what time it is within yourself. If you don't love who you are, if you don't appreciate who you are, now's the time. Don't think that you're not good enough. Don't think that you're not, uh, you don't look good enough. Don't think that you're not beautiful enough or pretty enough. It doesn't matter what society says. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what anybody says. You got to feel good about yourself before anybody can feel good about you. You got to love yourself inside and out before anybody could even think about loving you or wanting to be with you or being happy to be with you or want to be around you or anything like that. You have to love yourself so much it makes people sick just to see you, just to see you smile, just to, to be around you. It hurts them because they realize that they don't feel that way about themselves. But you do, and that's all right because it's a cold world. You had to turn within. You had to go within. You had no other choice but to go within. People saw your greatness and they turned their back on you and they betrayed you and didn't want anything to do with you because they saw where you were headed. So you had to get cold right along with this world. But that inner coldness, it warmed you up. You used that inner coldness as a blanket. 
You use that inner coldness to turn on the fire within you, turn on the furnace within you. That coldness made you heat up inside because it allowed you to find something within yourself you didn't know was there. It allowed you to find something within yourself that on, that God put there, just like he put those rubies, just like he put that gold, just like he put those diamonds, those gems, those precious jewels in the ground. You had to dig deep within yourself until love was found. 